Sup dudes, today we're gonna review the Havsco Havkart cargo style electric bike that can carry 450 pounds. All right, we're about to try this thing out. Let's start the roll. <laughs> what? Please don't hit these. And in a variety of different ways, we have some attachments here. This bike has a torque sensor and a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery pack capable of up to 60 miles of range. They claim 40 under throttle only, but don't worry after we build it and take a closer look at everything, we'll take it outside for a full review. How do you feel back there? This is fun. I know, right? And see what the hob cart is made of. What do you think? So my bike comes with the running boards, the caboose, and a large basket, all of which are accessories available to buy with the hob cart linked below. Comes with a long black box with all of your goodies and the longest rack I've ever seen. With an attached light, look at this kickstand. 20 inch tires. And this one comes in orange, comes with pizza, keys, Here's the seat, extra wide. Perfect for a cargo bike with a little, little handle back here. Quick release lever. Get this battery out. Battery. Battery mounts from the top. And it is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery pack. That was heavy. Charger is three amp charger. So that'd be about five hours to charge this thing from empty to full. Tires have knobby tread and these are 20 inch wheels four inch wide fat tires, 180 millimeter Tektro rotors drilled and slotted. It's got suspension, it's got adjustments. You can lock it or fine tune it. And look at the rise on these handlebars. Yeah, look how high those come up. Ergonomic hand grips, Tektro hydraulic brakes, thumb throttle, and other controls. We'll check the display out in just a few. Let's check out these boxes. Here's the basket, the large basket. Pretty large. It's good for about 55 pounds. And the caboose slash VIP section. What is this? Passenger seat. This is the passenger seat. And then the other day, a another basket came. I know, it's a lot of stuff, but wait. There's more. So here's what the running boards look like. They match the same wood as this. Comes with plastic fenders. Oh good, it shows us how to install the VIP section. Kickstand goes here. Check it out, here's how the kickstand works. Here's what it looks like before you put the stuff on. Drop that guy on there. Integrated tail light plugs right in. Let's try a floorboard. This thing's turning into a real cargo cart. So this is one configuration, but let me show you what the rack looks like. So we gotta take this board off first. Come on, drill. Please. Oh, a little smoky smoke. Doesn't smell good. Dude, these wrenches feel terrible on your fingers. Remove this. So there's what the rack looks like. But also, if you don't feel like running the back rack, you could use the front rack. I'm pretty curious about this VIP section, so let's try that. So it looks to me like you could just set this seat right on here. This whole thing goes on right like this. And these are actually like foam padded. Truly VIP experience back here. <laughs> I don't see how this would work for an adult. I think this is for kids. Yeah, dude, the railings are definitely for kids. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> VIP. You wanna be my VIP? What's that mean? Honey, I just got back from camping. Oh, shoot, it's tires. We need to follow the tire up. Are we gonna ride on it? We can. I wanna. Tires call for 20 PSI. <laughs> We'll run them on 16. It'll keep the VIP section plush. There is an app that comes with the Hobsco bike. You can unlock the top speed to 28 miles per hour. All right, let's power this bike up. Any flickering you see is just the camera. The screen does not flicker to your eyes. So you get trip, odometer, trip and odometer, and then five levels of pedal assist. Light is decently bright. Light switch also turns on the light on the rear. Is it a brake light? It is. And it is a Sato branded motor. In my experience, these are pretty torquey. All right guys, let's take the Hobsco Hob cart out for a ride. First attachment we're gonna try is the rear seat. 
the VIP section with no railings because we're gonna actually try two adults. Then we'll try this one in a little bit. Of course, we'll go ahead and start the Strava to see what kind of distance we get on today's ride. Very first thing we're gonna do is a single person only 200 pounds. We're gonna go up to 20% grade. Kickstand's a little bit unusual to operate. So pedal assist five, full throttle, ready, go. 200 pounds, this thing feels very torquey. Going right up the hill. Uh, these subtle motors on the Hobsco bikes are very strong. That's a solid performance with no pedal assist. Can we make it under? We'll go ahead and give it, we'll go ahead and give it one more with a little bit of pedal assist, pedal assist five with the torque sensor. And obviously, I mean, just pedaling, it's totally fine, dude. You wanna go for a ride? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hop on. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, not like that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Maybe this is a bad idea. This is probably not gonna work. Let's give it a try. All right, full throttle. Ready, go. All oh, the torque. torque. <laughs> Dude, it's actually performing pretty freaking well considering there's two people. Oh yeah, hop off. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to jump off. I didn't either. I think we should try it with a rollout. Actually, let's come back here. Let's practice out here a little bit and then come back. Well, this thing's probably strong enough to start from a stop on the hill. Yeah. Dude, these little 20 inch tires, the 20 inch wheels gives it like more acceleration, more torque. So first thing we're going to try here is just doing two people on this bike. I think the max rated um, capacity of this bike is like 450 pounds. Hold on. Right. So on the hob cart, how do you feel back there? This is fun. I know, right? This thing has plenty of torque to haul some stuff around, I would say. The handling feels a little weird having like an extra person on the back. Are you, are, what are you holding on to back there? There's a handle. Oh, nice, the handle of the seat. So this is full throttle. This thing is uh, it's pulling along just fine. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, let's, um, no, I don't want to stop. let's, let's see what it does like an acceleration test from like zero to whatever. It's not unlocked yet, so it'll only go 20 miles an hour throttle only. Are you ready? Are you prepared for this? Okay, for takeoff, sir. All right, ready, go. Up <laughs> front end, the front Are wheel. Are you glad you asked because it just like, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, the front end came off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome. And 20, pretty much. 20, yeah, it cuts you off at 20 until we unlock it. We'll get the app out here in a minute. So I have to say, with are you like wobbling around back there a little bit? Oh, like when you have like an extra full-size adult on the back, you can definitely feel in the handling, like. <laughs> I don't think so. But you know, you can feel it's like a little bit, you know, it's, I don't think it's rated for that, you know, to have like a full size adult on the back. All right, I'm gonna try and uh, ride on the back now. Ready? All right, we're about to try this thing out. All right, I'm scared though. Can you balance this thing? Yeah. I'm so scared. Is this the go? Whoa. Yeah, it's a little torquey. Whoa, it's a jump. <laughs> oh my goodness. This steering is not that precise. <laughs> it might be because you have a passenger. This is so fun. <laughs> may or may not stay in the bike lane. <laughs> Why is it like all shaking? It's because it, we have way too much weight on the bike. <laughs> Do you want to stop? No. <laughs> she says no. Come on, little baby. Take your nap. All right, I don't think we should keep going this fast. I'm scared. Let's slow the roll. <laughs> what? Please don't hit these codes. <laughs> All right. Can we slow down, please? Got power. 
The son of mother is strong. All right, can can we can we stop? No, I like it. All right. It's like riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Brakes are good. <laughs> okay, can we try drivers, please? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to go over this road here. Oh my goodness, please, no. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Let's go over a ramp. No ramps, come on now. I feel great. I could totally ride a bike with a kid on the back. <laughs> you can ride you can ride a bike with an adult on the back. I'm feeling Whoa. really empowered. This is fun. Everyone's watching us. I bet you they are. They wish they had a hog cart. Oh my god. So that was about 1.5 miles of two people cruising around on this thing for 10 minutes. Obviously the battery is fine. All right, dudes, now we're gonna swap this thing out for this and make a run to the grocery. So I've got a hundred bucks. Let's go see if we can load this up with some groceries and use it as a cargo bike. So you can use the thumb throttle to bring this thing up to 20 miles an hour, but it does have five levels of pedal assist with a torque sensor, the better kind of sensor of the two. If you're not familiar with e-bikes, there's a cadence sensor and a torque sensor. A torque sensor gives you power based on how hard you're pressing on the pedals. So on, you know, if you want to get like more of a workout or conserve battery, you can put it on pedal assist one and it's just barely helping me here, but I have to really put in a lot of work on my own for it to help me out. Or I could crank it up, you know, a little bit higher, like pedal assist three. And now, you know, based on how hard I'm pressing on the pedals, you can see the little blue bars here showing up on the screen. And that shows how much power the motor is giving me. So let's go ahead and crank it up to the top pedal assist. And now on pedal assist five, like I barely have to put in like any effort at all. This thing will give me a, a lot of power. And with the torque sensor, it feels just very intuitive. Whereas, you know, if you have a cadence sensor on pedal assist five, pretty much as soon as you start to rotate those pedals, it's just gonna like launch you, no matter how hard, how much you're pressing on the pedals, it's gonna launch you up to maximum or whatever pedal assist five is. Let's give it a proper zero to 20 acceleration test under throttle only. I weigh 200 pounds, ready, go. This thing launches 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it, it gets up the speed pretty respectably quick. So I'm on pedal assist five and top gear of seven pedaling at 20. I do kind of feel like you might start to run out of gear a little bit, you know, if you're trying to hit that 28 mile an hour top speed once you switch it over to class three. This thing handles really nicely going around turns though with the smaller 20 inch wheels. They always just handle a little bit nicer for like twisties than the taller wheels. Now, if you're trying to take this thing like off-road in the sand and stuff, the taller wheels do a little better off-roading. And speaking of off-roading, let's give it a try a little bit here. This probably isn't a bike. This isn't a bike I'd want to do a lot of off-roading. You know, there's no rear suspension, no suspension seat post. So, you know, I can really feel that those bumps coming up through the rear. It does have adjustable front suspension, which I do have it on the softest setting. Let's get it off-road or on-road here. I, I need to log into the app and change it to 28 mile per hour top speed because it comes shipped as a class 2 e-bike. So we'll be cruising at 20 here today. Oh man, we're running out of road here. Now normally we turn off right here and do our 0 to 20 acceleration test. I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's a Trader Joe's right here. Oh yeah. There we go. Of course we'll walk that up. Get some blackberries and some of the best apples and some water. More water, more water. Some of the best chimichurri rice ever. Make it too. And some of the second best apples too. And a kombucha. And what the heck, we earned it. Time to load this up. I intentionally got all these waters because I hate carrying these things up the stairs and this will be able to drive them pretty much straight straight into my place. Um, I guess I'll strap it all down and we'll be on our way. Yeah, look at that. Even with all those waters back there, I really, it doesn't feel like it handles much differently. So we know it can accelerate fastly. We got some weight in the back now. Let's see how it can break 
with these hydraulic 180 millimeter rotors. They're all... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're good, man. Um, it's got a bunch of extra weight in this thing too. When you, so let's get this thing up to 20. Front brake is on the left and, oh yeah. <laughs> these brakes are good, man. Uh, Tektra 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes. You're gonna want a good set of brakes on a cargo bike and that's exactly what the Hovsko Hovkart has on it. They feel great because they're hydraulic and the 180 millimeter rotors is plenty to stop even with a bunch of cargo in the trunk. I gotta say, man, I just feel cool leaving the Trader Joe's parking lot with all my groceries loaded up in the back of a cargo bike. Taking a different route home. Watch out for the spike strips. Whew. Get a little exercise on the way home. How about that? This is too easy, man. I'm signing up for a Hobsco account for the app as I'm going 20 miles an hour. So on the first day here, I did about 10 miles on the battery, but I decided I wanted to try to use the hob cart as a car replacement to go to the beach. Admittedly, I do like to bring a little bit of extra stuff with me when I go to the beach, which actually worked out great because they sent over the front rack for the hob cart. And I could take a bike like this if I wanted, but I think I have a better option. But the first step is to get some of the essentials. If I really wanted to, I could take my car, but then you gotta find a place to park it. Hmm, any meeny, no. Mo, mo, mo. So check it out. This is the front rack. They sent it on over. Load her up. And we're on our way. I should mention I got into the Hobsco app and I increased the top speed. See what I can do out here now. I oh, gotta take your finger off the throttle. I feel like I could benefit from one more gear, uh, but it's doing like 25. So all of that was good fun, but this is where the real benefit comes in. We are not paying $9 to get into this lot. We could do the easy way and just take that little path. Let's do something more challenging though. All right, let's see if we can find a spot in the sand out here and also find out if this thing can make it through the sand. Pedal assist five. We'll get through this. Making it through to some degree all this extra weight and making it through boom took a minute to break through there so i wouldn't necessarily recommend the hob cart for off-roading but if you're looking for something practical a cargo bike that can replace your car potentially or do some weekend trips with the hob cart worked out excellent for me and if you're thinking about buying the hob cart or any cargo bike if you did buy this bike through the link below in the description box it would help support my reviews here on Tahapi tv and of course, I would greatly appreciate your support. No pressure though, I'm just out here reviewing bikes, showing you what they can do. And this is one thing the hop car can do. All right, my dudes, I think it's time to get out of here. Does just fine getting off the line. <laughs> the 20 inch wheels just don't really get through the sand. Quite as good as a taller wheel, but what are you gonna do? I probably could have dropped the tire pressure down a little bit, but it made it get through a little better at the expensive range. Good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, full power. Let's go to the grocery or something. Do some more errands while we're out here. Here's some more goodies I had stashed away in here. All right, there we go. Might've went a little bit hard here. Five waters. All the rice. Can't forget the chocolate as a roll. Yeehaw! <laughs> I swear, man, getting around by personal electric vehicle is the only way to do it in, in LA. And I'd have to say the kiddos definitely agree. While my niece and nephew were in town visiting, they thoroughly enjoyed their VIP section experience on our trip to the beach. The hop cart handled the two kiddos just fine, and that was starting on a half-charged battery. I ended up taking this e-bike on three separate trips without ever charging it for a total of 35 miles. And that included carrying a variety of cargo as seen in this video and riding on the sand by the beach. The hob cart was an awesome first experience on an electric cargo bike and if you want to grab one you can buy one by clicking the link below this video and using the discount code there to save a little extra money on your purchase. However, if this isn't the electric bike for you, you can watch this video next. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.